So let's see what we do today. There we go, finally. Jesus, move already. Good God. Pick up this junkage. Let's do this. Holy cow, guys. There's some great clothing in here. Oh, there's Ralph Lauren. I've got the whole closet. Guys, this is complete madness. You're not gonna believe what's in this pile. This is absolutely unbelievable. Oh my goodness, this is nuts. Check out this view. So you have to excuse the, uh, the bugs on the windshield. But oh, wow, look at this. It's nice over here. Oh yeah. I dig it. Scored some amazing things here, guys. I'm going to do a, a recap of what I got here. It's almost unbelievable. It's almost truly unbelievable. Hello, Tucson. Check out these mountains. Pretty stunning. Kim, you are not going to believe what the hell I just scored. The clothing. Remember that thing I was showing you? Yeah. 100, I spent a hundred and some odd dollars, like under 110 or something with tax. Buyer's fees? Just open up the back of that real quick. Is it locked? You ready? I don't know. <laughs> Is that a... What do you think? It's a lot of... It looks like a thrift store run from like eight years ago, doesn't it? It kind of does. I mean, this is unbelievable. Oh, it's in the middle section, too. Yes! Look at that. Look at this. That's, yeah, look at that. That's nice. This is a, this, I mean, right there. Silver inlay. And it's, it's, it's sterling. It's marked right there. Wow. Oh, and it's signed, too. Yep. Yeah. Wow. There's a bunch of belts under there. Don't move on that left side because there's other things there. All right. But... I was grabbing things. I mean, some of the stuff we're going to have to donate, but there's Tommy Bahama in there. There's, I mean, I don't know how many pairs of shoes we've got. I mean, obviously there's some junk shoes in here. Dockers. Ooh, or Rats Rockport. Here, look at this Patagonia vest. Did he leave me a couple of hundos in here or something? You never know. You never know, people. Didn't want his wife to have the freaking money, so he hid it in the clothes. Here, these are look at Timberlands. Nice. Loafers. They don't even look like they've been worn very much. Oh my gosh. Look at all this. I'm afraid to take it out. What's this one? Cotton Exchange. Cal Poly. LL Bean. Orvis. Patagonia. Look at that. That's just rough the top. There's men's blazers, suits in here, <laughs> everything in the closet. There's hats there. There's sweaters there. That All that whole section, there's all shoes. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to drink beer. You want to sort this? Oh, I got something to do. <laughs> <laughs> oh, my Lord. All right, what do we got there? Eyes out. All right, that's nothing special. It doesn't have a tag. Oh, oh it's a University of UA. UA. It's nothing. Polo. Ralph. Ralph. Tommy Bahama. Cotton Deluxe. Just a plain shirt. Patagonia. Oh, that's a Patagonia polo. That's nice. Ooh, there's your red wine shirt. What does going, it say? Going, going, gone. Dang. <laughs> you want to keep that one? I don't know, I might. Look at that. Is this, is this just insanity? Another Ralph. Ralph? Winter mate. Lots of golf shirts, huh? That don't ask at the top. There's dress shirts. There's suits that's in here. Well, that one's stained that's up pretty good. Yeah, it's up. Yeah, it's an Eddie Bauer. That was his work shirt. Must have been. That's, that's people like that. that live, people that live in communities like that, that's what they wear when they 
Either oh, yeah. yard care. Oh, that one too, that Orvis. Nice oh one. man, that was a nice Orvis too. Yeah, like you can see, colors are, colors ran on that one. Honey, you know what? He probably screamed at her for days. You ruined my Orvis. That's probably club. not because it probably didn't even matter. Yeah, he's like, I'll just buy another one. Land's End. Land's End room, that's good trash. The Land's End might be somewhat nice. The little yeah, flag. More vintage Ralph. Blue tag Ralph. Another Ralph. Another Ralph. <laughs> Jesus. This was almost like thrifting. Grey Goose Vodka. A Grey Goose Vodka shirt? That's what it says. Oh, by Bobby Jones. Exclusively for Grey Goose Vodka. That's got like a little golfer inside. Huh. That's maybe, maybe he went to some sort of... Oh, yeah. Here's the, it's got the goose on the side. Maybe he went to like some golf invitational or when something. When I golf, I only drink Grey Goose. Well, that... Yeah. That's just what it happens. That's another Ralph. Right there? Yeah. Oh, it's got bleach on it. Oh. oh, yeah. Oh, it's trashed. That's a shame. Wow. Well, you you have a lot of work to do. Don't you? <laughs> Junk. Wow. Jesus. Look at that. Oh, my Lord. Corazon. Oh, man, he was a pounder. I bet they. I bet he went to, like, golf, like, invitational mm -hmm. things. Well, he lived on a golf course. Another Eddie Bauer. That's a, that's a nice vintage Eddie Bauer. Is that stain too? I don't know no. what this one is. Which one? What was that uh, laundry detergent with the ring around the collar? You remember that? Mm. It was like Era or something. With the ring around that's the collar. Trash. Oh, my God. Look at this. Oh is this not insanity? Orvis, Ralph. Ralph, recent Ralph. There's a recent tag. Nice that's polo a, shirt. That's a nice. Extra large. It's nice. It's got a few stains, but they might come out. Nice Orvis, though. Oh, here we go. I mean, I saw Tiny Bahamas in here. More drama for your mama. Hilo Haiti. That's a nice freaking... Rain Spooner. Rain Spooner. This is literally like a thrift store dream. Chamoray. Chamoray. Oh, wow. Chaps. Nice birdie on that one. That's vintage Eddie Bauer right there. Oh, well, that's when, you, when drinking Grey Goose and tequila together, that's what'll happen. Well, Grey Goose is clear. It shouldn't have any. Well, no, he's, just, he's pounding both of them. He's spitting Crazy up at horse. night. Yeah, that's when the, you go to the his marks. Yeah, some of this is junked up. Oh, well, right, this was definitely a work shirt. Philo. Wow. Holy Jesus. Oh, you see that? Look at that. There's I, a Tommy Bahama. We haven't even hit. Right there. We haven't even hit the first layer. Dockers. What is that? Navigation. That's ring around the collar. That's just a Cherokee's crap. Yeah. What's that? REI. Catalina. Hmm. What's that one there? That this? fleece. I know. That's what I wanted to see. Oh, that's nice. County Clothing Company. Oh, I'll have to look that one up. That's a really nice fleece. Yeah, it is. So, wow. Well, is that insanity? Look at this. Lot, I'm backing yeah. up. I barely even touched it. I know. That's how much is there. <laughs> <laughs> where are we going to put it all? I mean, how do we keep doing this? Oh, where are we going to put it all? I can't, what, what are we going to do with all this? I don't know, Mike. I huh? don't know. All right, well, I'm going to start pulling this stuff out of here, making two piles, one for keep, one, well, three piles, one for keep, one for donation, and then maybe if there's some decent stuff left for flea market, garage sale, whenever that, that happens. I mean, I kind of want to keep digging, but... You can't stop. Are those ski Don't stop pants? till you get enough. I think they're ski pants. I'm hoping there's some polo sport in here from the 90s. Ski pants. Biolite snowboards. Oh, yeah, yeah, that's worth something. Burton snowboard. Those things are not cheap. Oh, they're brand new tags. Huh? They're, there's the brand new tags right there, isn't it? No, oh, that's the hang tag. I was like, shoot, did it? I saw there's a couple of men's dress shirts in there with brand new tags. Dang, man. I, there's Brooks Brothers in here. Right there. Canterbury of New Zealand. Oh, those are nice. I've sold some of those before. Crazy shirts. That's probably just an embroidered uh, yeah, crew neck. Jesus. 
Oh my Look at lord. It's, it's just, it keeps going. Go after your hand there because I've got some other stuff. All right. Now this, look at that pattern. That looks like Burberry. No, don't because it's this, it's a jacket. Be careful, you're gonna rip. The, it's got hangers. I'm not gonna rip it. Don't be busting on my Burberry. All right. There we go. And is it a scarf? No, it's got the inner. It's a Burberry. It's Burberry. You check that out. Vintage. Look at oh, that. wow. It's, got the, this. it's a vest. Well, the vest goes, yeah, the, the vest goes inside. Look, hold on. No, that's, no, no, no. That's a separate, that's a completely separate thing. Unless that's a Burberry jacket. What does the jacket say? Nordstrom? Oh, Nordstrom women's tailored clothing. Okay. So the jacket is a woman's jacket. But that's a Burberry. But this. What is that? It's funky. It went inside. Okay, so it's a lining to that jacket. Huh. Or to a different jacket. It definitely went inside. I can't of a imagine jacket. that. This is probably a Burberry jacket, then. A vintage Burberry. I don't see any marks. Unless they just had it tailored, and that's why they put that in there. All right. Anything. What? There's a million dollars in here. Are you serious? Is there something in there? There is something in here. Not even <laughs> a tag. Oh. <laughs> Samantha OC. All I felt was something in there, like, crinkly, and I was like, oh, my God. Wouldn't you shit if that was money? I would have, actually. <laughs> That's a nice find. I don't have to look up, what, up, look up what a Burberry sure liner is, but maybe this... I'm, I don't know. Usually, yeah, the buttons aren't Burberry. Huh. No indication. I mean, it's a hell of a nice jacket. Yeah, it is. Huh. Well, that's... That's a bonus. All right, guys. Now we're gonna, I made a mess. We're gonna dig around a little bit. I'll show you if I see anything else cool. All right. So I took everything in the house here and got some piles um, of stuff I haven't showed you guys yet. So let's dive into these sweaters. We've got a Byford London New York cotton blend sweater. There's a nice Brooks Brothers wool V-neck sweater. Got some dog hair on it. Uh, United Colors of Benetton. We got some Ralph, 100% cotton. What's this? Uh, J. Gill crew neck. Another Ralph Lauren polo crew neck sweater. Uh, we got Boston Traders. And that one feels like it's a wool sweater. Peregrine, 100% pure new wool. Let's see if I can. There we go. Let's get that one. What's this one? This one is fine apparel for men, the Alps, with some kind of embroidery on the front there. Sorry about the shadow. Uh, we have another, looks like a Ralph here, extra large men's crew neck. And we've got, uh, looks like a cashmere wool blend. Who makes this? There we are, it's the Brooks Brothers wool cashmere blend. So yeah, let me move these aside, guys, and we'll start looking at these other two piles here. All right, so we're moving on to some men's shirts here. Everybody knows that brand, Pendleton. It appears to be in great shape. Um, still even had the, like the plastic, this uh, tissue paper in there. So we got Pendleton. Here's another Pendleton. Uh, so you got a Ralph Lauren, or Ralph Lauren. Fasinable. Got a Paul Frederick dress shirt. This is neat. Check this out. This is like a vintage Sears embroidered like family shirt there. It's got stuff on the shoulders. Pretty, pretty neat. Uh, what's this one? Brooks Brothers turtleneck. Another Brooks Brothers men's dress shirt. What we got here? Is this anything good? Oh, huh, just an Eddie Bauer. Here we have a Land's End. Nothing too special with that. Men's Brooks Brothers. Pink check. There's another Brooks Brothers. Another Land's End. Another Land's End. And I'm going to have to move this pile here, guys. Another Ralph. Here's a nice Orber shirt. I believe that one's got, yep. It's got the suede elbow patches on it. Nautica. 
LL Bean Vintage. Another nice LL Bean Vintage. Brooks Brothers. What's this one? Extra fine wool. This nice Orvis like safari type shirt. Flip this one over here. Let's see what these are. Another Brooks. Patagonia long sleeve. Another Polo. Another Pendleton. Check that out. Another Pendleton. Let's see about uh, holes in these. They're notorious for getting holes over time. Good way to always check that is just to put it in the, take it outside and aim it at the sun through the sunlight. And you'll see the holes immediately. Uh, what else we got here? What's this? Let's flip this over. Another Eddie Bauer. Norse Sport. I don't think that's really anything. Uh, we got Andrew Fiza. That's nothing. All right, let's get to these Hawaiian shirts at the bottom here. All right, another looks like a Tommy Bahama here. Nothing on the back. Uh, another Tommy Bahama silk shirt. What's this? Uh, let's see. Another Tommy Bahama. What's this brand here? Mulaki. Mulaki Surf. Not sure about that one. Ooh, look at this Tommy Hilfiger one. Hilfiger Hawaiian with the surfboards. That's cool. Um, oh, no way. Pat Aloha. Do you guys know what that is? Holy cow. Whoa. Haven't seen these in a while. Oh, yeah. This is uh, <laughs> this is actually vintage Patagonia, guys. Um, wow. Holy cow. We've got one there. Oh, geez. Come on. we got two. This is epic. Holy cow. Three. <laughs> I'm loving this. We've got a... Uh, yeah, if you don't know about this tag, these this is vintage Patagonia. These go for crazy money. Look them up. We got a Masters golf shirt. It appears, yep. What is this? It's a, another Brooks Brothers, I can see. Yep, Brooks Brothers polo shirt. Ralph Lauren polo. Another Ralph. Another Ralph. Heck, that one's new, brand new with tags. Gotta love that. What do we got here? An NFL shirt. What's on that one? Oh, Cardinals. We have Brooks Brothers here, Polo. Uh, Ashworth Tequila. We have, I thought I saw another one of those in there. This one's brand new with tags. Um, what's this? Cotton Deluxe by Anvil. This looks a little vintage. Placerville Elks Lodge Beer Crew. Hey, I dig that. And the last one of the shirts here looks like a Sophie. California, what is this? California Berkeley Crew Neck Sweatshirt. Nice. Can you believe I paid only just $100 for this? This is insanity. This is absolute insanity. Um, so a lot of this stuff's kind of run the mill. There's some price points to them, but my gosh, these guys, wow. I got three of them. That's pretty darn epic. I'm digging that. Let me move this pile and grab some more. All right, let's look through some of these jackets here. Um, this is kind of like a trench coat. Uh, Jones, New York. Let's see if that's got some value to that. What's this? Looks like some kind of robe. Norm Thompson robe. Let's check into that. Oh my God, we got a Patagonia jacket. Holy cow. Nice. Oh yeah. Um, oh gosh, there's another Patagonia jacket, you guys. Check that out, a red one too. Patagonia. All right, yeah, let me, let me flip these off here. I'm sure the rest. All right, we've got one of these kind of like fluffy cotton type fleeces. This is by Gap. Uh, what do we got here? What's this? Navika All-Terrain Clothing. This thing's pretty darn cool. Looks like a, what's that? Ch Chinook? That's nice. I have to look that bad boy. I'm not really too familiar with that one. Um, and we got some suits over here. So let me move these over to the side. What we got here? Got some Harris Tweed. Oh my gosh, it's an Orvis. Harris Tweed. Oh my gosh. That's insanity, huh? Look at that. Oh yeah. This is this is a winner winner chicken dinner, guys. What do we got here? Chaps. Some people pronounce that. I I call it Chaps by Ralph. Um, oh, what do you got here? A red? Oh, what is this one? Oh, it's a Brooks old Brooks Brothers 346. It might have some value. It's got some gold buttons on there. That's nice. 
There's another suit here. It's got oh, it's got some little bites on it. Maybe that can be saved. I don't think so. Cutler Brothers. Uh, Javinci. That's a shame with the pants. That happens though. Uh, this one is a Dominic D. Bruzzi. And suit there. It's got the pants and everything. Let me get this off here, guys. It's kind of. I guess I should be more prepared with this stuff, but it's just all over the place. So let me move this off my, uh, my lap here. All right, do we have another Orvis here? What's this one? Patrick James, Harris Tweed. All right. Let's move that one over here. Looks like we got a bright yellow Brooks Brothers. No gold tags or no gold uh, buttons on that one. We got a wool one here. We got a Patrick James. This is a nice, uh, nice blazer. This is funky. It's the tie in this one. The tie bar, I don't think that's anything. The suit, though. What's the suit? The suit is a nice Brooks Brothers. So look, check that out. With the pants. Coolness. Let's see, we've got our Harris Tweed here. Got a little lapel on here. What's this one? Find another Orbis or something. Patrick James. 100% camel hair. Nice. And the last blazer here. Oh, it's got some nice gold buttons on it. Is there any tags on this bad boy? Let's see. Oh, yeah, it's down here. Oh, what I got, what I got. And we got a heart, Shafter, and Marks gold trumpier from Nordstrom. Not too bad, man. Honestly, um, one of these blazers here is going to get my money back. That's how craziness this whole freaking haul was. This belt is absolutely amazing, guys. This is all sterling silver here. Beautiful inlay, four-piece Ranger belt, and I mean, it's just fantastic. These are so rare. I think this is going to bring some really excellent money, guys. It's uh, signed by David Rosales and uh, Willie, so it's kind of like a collaboration between two native Southwest jewelry makers. Yeah, this is so nice. This is almost kind of worth keeping. <laughs> um, but for the little amount of money I've got in this unit here, this is no doubt about it. Um, the crazy find, I think, in this unit. Um, well, not unit, but just the whole closet. <laughs> right? Oh, my gosh. This is absolutely remarkable. So I'm going to list this on uh, on eBay at a crazy price. Um, comparables here, I think brand new, these are like $1,400 to buy, but since it's a collaboration, it might've went for more. I don't know, time will tell, Let's see if we can get it sold.